Therapeutic Doctor Who Solutions. My name is Oleg Nikishim. I am the Therapeutic Doctor. And today I will talk to you about how to treat sinus infections with ozone. In the past few days we had quite a few requests uh, and, uh, about this topic. So, so Dr. O showed us how to do the treatment of sinus infections. So, what is a sinus infection? Sinus infection is a, it's an inflammatory process of your uh, sinus cavities, specifically uh, mucosal lining in uh, your nasal uh, cavities uh, due to bacterial infection. So, actually, when your nasal cavity, all nasal cavities, as you can see in the picture, uh, you have nasal cavities. Uh, and that will be, uh, mucosal lining will be inflamed uh, due to the uh, uh, bacterial infection. <clears throat> Next slide, please. Uh, so when you do have that infection, you do have a pressure in your cavities and you have uh, in that excessive mucus and uh, because that's a process when your mucosal lining fights that sinus infection, that bacterial infection. And most of the time you have build up mucus in it, build up pressure, your nose is, is, is stuck, you can't even breathe it. And this is extremely, would be uh, uncomfortable a lot of times. It's not only uncomfortable, you have a lot of pressure here, you have a lot of pressure here. Then, if you touch yourself just gently like that, you will see you have different temperature. Or you can just wrap your hand around your face and you, can, you will feel different temperature. The, the temperature difference that will show you where is the actually inflammation is. And uh, most of the time it's, it's, it's very annoying as I said and, and very painful and very uncomfortable uh, situation. When, especially when you have a chronic sinus infection. So it's always come back especially now when when we have a summer or even in the winter time too but summer when you go to cold you go to hot uh, air conditioned room you go outside and come back and all that provokes your uh, sinus infection <clears throat> now how how do we do the sinus infection treatments with ozone it's very simple actually there are a few ways of doing it uh, and both those ways are very simple uh, if you have a rectal kit it come, the rectal kit comes with a small syringe. If you don't have a rectal kit, you can purchase that syringe uh, separately on our website. Then, but this is one way. The second way is a simple ear insufflation. Okay, so we do have, uh, we do have cavities that connect sinus cavity to the ear cavity through the middle, middle ear uh, canal. So when you dive or when you when you're on an airplane and go up and down or you go on you on you drive yourself up in the mountains and back and you and you feel that different uh different uh, difference in the pressure in your ears and if you dive they will train you how to balance it you simply just plug your nose and blow it and you have a pop in the ear that means you do have connections the ear uh, ear cavities through the middle ear canal back to the sinus cavities. That's why it's most simple way to do the treatments of the sinus infection with the ear insufflation. You simply do the same as a regular ear insufflation. You just connect your ear insufflation uh, insufflator to the ozone uh, device. Put your oxygen. To the I recommend one eight liter per minute. This is for our generator. Put generator on. Put your ear insufflation on and just sit and relax. If if your ozone goes through to the ears and they'll they'll slow slowly slowly will go back to to the not no back but go to the sinus cavities. So you when you do your insufflation obviously uh, you will treat with ozone uh, whole cavities in your head. Okay, if that's not working for you, for instance, you have a chronic sinus infection and you don't want to do that uh, because you don't want to sit half an hour 
uh, and this is still doesn't go all the way in, maybe it's blocked, that, the, that uh, middle ear canal is black. What you should do, you, can, you, you should do the uh, sinus infection treatments with uh, syringe, small syringe. In that case, what you do is, is, is this. Is, the procedure is very simple. Again, in this case, I will put one quarter liter per minute because I really don't want that high concentration of 57 gamma. I prefer to have 33 gamma. Okay, I put generator on. Make sure <coughs> uh, syringe is, is moving because there is a, there is a lock lip down on the bottom of this syringe so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna plug it so I just unlock it a little just like that connect it on okay and I put I 30 okay I shut it down right on the knob and ozone stops flowing now ozone inside so what I did, I, I fill up with the 30, 30 milliliters approximately and ozone will stay inside the same way as water stays in the tube if you plug one top hole and the water is not going to escape. So don't worry, ozone will stay inside, it's not going to escape, it's not going to pull, pull out because there is no other hole to do displacement. So it stays inside. What you do, you shut the generator off, you inhale. So what we, we should do is like this, you inhale, all the way in, you stop your breathing, then I'm going to shoot ozone in my cavity, wait for maybe 5-6 seconds, you can wait as much as you want, and then blow it through the nose. So otherwise I will choke myself on ozone, this is pure ozone, and it's 35 gamma. So the procedure is, is very simple, it's just like that. I feel a little heat and I feel a little, little, little strange feeling of, of the heat. It's not actually heat, but it's a very strange feeling. I want to do it for the, for, the, for the left one. Oh, I feel very good. So let's do it again. I put in a quarter liter per minute. Turn the generator on. Connect my syringe. As soon as it's sealed, it will start moving, you see. I can fill up more and then just, just flush it out. So now it's 40 milliliters. Let's say I want a 25. I do the same thing. Very, very nice. My nostrils opened, and you have to, you have to really, really experience it in order to, to feel it. It's very interesting. Heat and fresh air coming right into your eyes, and very nice and fresh feeling. And you can do it three or four or five times. Um, so if you feel like it's not enough, your nostrils not open. So do it again. Left, right, left, right. And you will, you will feel like immediately, immediately your nostrils will open and you start breathing. If one procedure is not enough for you, for instance, obviously your ozone will immediately uh, penetrate your mucous lining and start bacterial, bacterial, your mucous lining will start bacterial infection fighting. So for that reason, you probably should repeat it within 20, 30, 30 minutes and again and again. And then see how you feel. If you feel already good, so maybe repeat it in a three, four hours, maybe before you nap, before you go to bed. So and that's all. This is very simple and, and very, very effective treatment. Now one more, one more thing. Uh, you, uh, your sinus infection a lot of times can come from your teeth, from your root canals. How how do you know where it comes from? Again, procedure is very simple. You just touch yourself, just like that. If you do have root canal infections, sometimes 
you're not gonna feel it. You just feel, you just wake up with the, with the plugged nose and a lot of muco mucosa in your nose and you can breathe it. That means if you wake up, wake up at night, that means you have probably uh, infections in your teeth. So again, you just touch yourself like this and touch and feel and feel that uh, uh, temperature difference. So if you feel like it's more, it's it's a lot of heat over here too. That means you do have some infections in your root canals. For that reason, watch our video uh, about. Uh, gingivitis and how to flush your teeth with the ozone water it's a very effective treatment as well uh, and that will help you to get rid of your uh, sinus infections too don't forget that's all mucosal lining we have in the head and we have only one uh, one uh, lymphatic duct on the side of your neck so that's why a lot of times if you have any infections in the, in, the, in your head in any cavities most of the time you're gonna see you're gonna feel heat right right here on the side of your neck on the, your neck this this is sensitive sensitive area will be very hot for you so some people will, will say so I have lymphatic nodes inflammation right there too that's that's again that will be uh, because you have uh, infections in the in the head cavities so for that if if, for instance, I, I see my patients and I touch them, I see where, where, the, where the heat is. So it could be eyes, it could be nasal cavities, it could be ears, it could be teeth. So I know the application of ozonated oil will, will be very helpful for that reason. You simply put ozonated oil all around your neck right there to help to fight your sinus infections as well. If you do have uh, inflammation in your root canals, uh, so then you just take that oil and you can wipe your gums with it. It's very helpful too. Now, how to do proper, uh, how proper to do the ear insufflation? Please watch our other video about ear insufflation. There are many ways of doing it. Bubbling directly, as I just did. <clears throat> bubbling through the water, bubbling through the oil. There are three different ways and how to do it and how to choose it. Please watch our other video. So that's pretty much it for our sinus and infection, how to treat yourself with ozone uh, during sinus infections. Uh, so please share our video if you like us, give us your thumbs up, uh, click on that bell if you want to know uh, when the new R video coming out. Join us on the Facebook, join us our group, Medical Ozone Research Group on the Facebook, Medical Ozone Research Group. That's what you have to input in the search of the group. Then our group will come up, you ask us to join, I will prove you, and there are many, many people there and sharing all experiences. So that's all folks, we'll see you in the next video.